liftoff. What goes up, the saying says, Lift off, Starlink 4 must come down. For the most part, that's true, but if you're talking about space debris or space junk in low Earth orbit, don't hold your breath. Some of it might not re-enter and burn up in the atmosphere for hundreds of years. And there's a whole lot of it up there, says astronomer Bill Gray. There are at least tens of thousands of objects that are tracked and hundreds of thousands too small to track. All that stuff, including spent rocket motors and old satellites, is not just a nuisance. It's a real danger. Space debris is such a big problem in part because of the speed it's traveling. So fast, 17,500 miles per hour, that it can punch a hole through anything. To put that in perspective, at that speed, you can travel from California to New York in less than nine minutes. Space debris punched this hole in the International Space Station's robot arm in 2021, years before space junk put a hole in an orbiting space shuttle. With so much space garbage spinning around in random, uncontrollable orbits, the U.S. Defense Department, concerned its satellites could be damaged or destroyed by a chunk of junk, has begun a program called Orbital Prime. The plan, first to solicit proposals for cleaning up the debris and then to test in space those concepts. This debris and associated congestion threaten the long-term sustainability of the space domain. It demands action and provides an opportunity for partnership in the search for innovative solutions to recycle, reuse, or remove these objects. Some companies have been working on concepts for years. Ad Astra, founded by former space shuttle astronaut Franklin Chang Diaz, wants to develop what it calls the orbital sweeper. A space tug would deploy a service vehicle that would attach a solid rocket motor to a disabled satellite, then tow it to an orbit where it would fall back into the atmosphere and burn up. And <laughs> Japanese company Astroscale launched and successfully tested a satellite that could capture old satellites and also push them to a lower orbit to burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. The issue gained worldwide attention in November when Russia blew up an old satellite during an anti-satellite weapons test, leaving behind an estimated 1,500 pieces of trackable debris and thousands of pieces too small to track. U.S. astronauts and Russian cosmonauts on the International Space Station were warned by Mission Control that they could be in trouble. It is the uh, conjunction is still yellow risk or has it changed? It's an equivalent yellow uh, for the next debris pass. And then also we, we are um, estimating that the probability of a hit to Dragon would be lower than the rest of ISS. It doesn't take much to put a hole, you know, when they're traveling at 17,500 miles an hour, whatever the speed is, right at these objects, to put a hole in something like a space station. Radar, fortunately, is pretty good at tracking even small objects in low Earth orbit, but I mean, they're tracking down to about a f roughly four inches across. And you imagine a three inch chunk hitting at that sort of speed, hitting the wrong part of the space station. And it could be a really serious problem. The uncatalogued debris that's out there has, has certainly got to be the most disconcerting of anything. Uh, it's certainly something that I would worry about. I occasionally, uh, wonder what's going through the minds of the folks on the ISS when they're thinking, okay, we're we're ducking and avoiding this object, we're ducking and avoiding this object, and what objects are there out there that we don't even know we should be ducking and avoiding? The late Piers Sellers, a shuttle astronaut, joked when asked if he was concerned about getting hit by space junk during spacewalks. Sellers said, I always make sure the other spacewalker is in front of me. Astronaut Nicole Stott spent months on the ISS. She recalled Mission Control telling the crew on a couple occasions they might need to shelter in the Soyuz escape vehicle. 
Both times the debris passed harmlessly, no action was needed. With rocket technology driving down the cost of putting spacecraft in orbit, the space above our heads is growing more crowded, increasing the need to clean up the junk before there's a catastrophic collision. For my radar, I'm John Zarella. Follow my radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download my radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.